Daryl Groom, a former winner of the Tat de Cuvée Award, correct. and but perhaps better known for here for Colby Red, which is named after his son, who had two. Um, he had back-to-back -back open heart surgeries when he was eight heart. and nine. Well, that's an amazing trauma for for a, a young lad. So he came up with the idea to make a wine where we could donate the profits back to heart research and in his words, so no kid would have to go through what he went through. So together, he and I started to make a wine called Colby Red, named after him. And the wine has gone fantastically because it tastes so great. But we've now raised, we thought we were gonna start and raise maybe $500, but we've raised already over $300,000. $300,000, so $300, $300, that we've raised and given away and we're doing our first research grant um, in, um, in about a month's time, which is really, we're very passionate about, because we're actually now donating the money to the root of the problem, where That's great. for now we've been donating to a lot of charity. So it's great, and it's only 12 bucks. It's you a bargain. Get better. I had some last night at the Grand Tasting, and it, it really is, is great wine as well. It, it fits all the niches. So yeah. it's great to see you back here. You're doing great work. And thank you very much for coming to Cote de Cour. Well, one of the things we love doing too is we donate back to the communities that support the wine. So we're making a donation back to Cote de Cour from the sales of Colby Red that have occurred in the Dallas area. Wonderful. So thank great. you very much oh. indeed, Daryl. Yeah.